Looks like you could have a rematch almost every kind of step of the way here. What's kind of your mindset? What adjustments are you making from the first time you wrestled, you know, some of these guys? So, you know, I got to watch my match with them again, you know, watch another match with the, my opponents. And then, you know, I just, I feel like I'm just going to see and then why I kind of get better, you know, ah, whatever. But it will be kind of like the same thing, the same way. A lot of guys, if they get their leg in the air like you did against Hendrickson, they're probably pretty worried. And instead, yeah, you somehow turned it to your advantage, which shocked a lot of people. Yeah, you how know, would you describe how you had that ability? So you know, I feel comfortable in there since I was like I don't know, like ten years old, whatever. Since I'm wrestling, when people get on my legs, I feel way comfortable, even more like when it's in the in yeah. the air, one foot bouncing or whatever. But you know, they have to they have to be careful because <laughs> I won't give up a point. I don't I don't give up points, you know. <laughs> so they gotta I gotta earn it. So just <laughs> they have to be careful. <laughs> I mean, but as good as you've been, like you said, since ten years old, in that situation. Against a guy that good, to not only him not get the points, yeah. but you to turn it on him. Did you even yeah. surprise yourself a little bit? No, I, no, I wasn't surprised. Yeah. I know, I know what I can do. Okay. You know, <laughs> I got a lot of ability and you know, and movement. So I just did it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the stuff that I that I don't even know that I can do it. So <clears throat> that brings me to my question: Did you know that you were able to do that, or was that one of the first times you had done that sort of thing where you're on one leg and you shoot so, your own shot? Uh, when I was like last year, we were wrestling here uh, against Oklahoma State. I was in Silver at 197, and then he got my my leg in the air, and I tried to do the same thing, but he fall, he falls forward, so I couldn't do it. But I tried, I tried before. <laughs> so yeah. I knew I would, I could do it. Oh, sorry. Just how would you describe just the type of dominance when you dominate like that in the Big 12s, celebrate with the team's trophy? Yeah. Just how good it makes you feel in advance of you know this time on the biggest stage and you know I taste it I taste you know winning this is my second tournament that I went so I taste it and then feels great and then I'm looking forward now to do the same thing on national but it was an amazing experience like pretty, it was pretty good amazing. when did you start pinning people just last weekend <laughs> <laughs> so yeah well I don't know like I did something that I put in my mind okay the the team needs some points you know the Knicks on um, uh, whatever, like pens or whatever. So I would just go out there. And I would try to do my best every time. So I don't know. Just came on. I got two pens. Well, actually, I put four, everybody on the back. Mm -hmm. Like I put the Hendricks on the back, I put Elon on the back, and then pin the other guy. So I don't know. Just came came along. Where does your confidence come from? Has it just been from being able to win and be dominant, or has there ever just been like I don't know mentality you try and follow? How do you stay so confident in yourself? Just, you know, it's my confidence comes from the room, you know? Just working hard every day with dress up with my teammates, with all the coaches, that's that's the confidence that I, that I get. So just in the room, getting better, getting strong and getting tougher. So, that is the confidence. Does the guys have to survive against me? Um, you don't know. Mantra still stand? Yeah, that's the, that's the same thing. They, they have to try to survive. Every time they wrestle me, they have to try to survive because I'm ready, I will be ready every time to go. Is it fun for you to show new aspects of your wrestling ability? Because we'd all seen your ability to shoot on guys, especially at heavyweight. I mean, you are one of the two most offensive heavyweights in the nation. We hadn't really seen you had to try to defend someone. Um, obviously, Henderson goes out there and shoots at least two or three shots on you. Is it fun for you to show how good you are defensively as well? Yeah, I, you know, this wrestling, I, I, I'm just showing that I can wrestle in every... I said it, I said it to Jacqueline over there and, and told her that I can wrestle in every single position, even when I'm offensive, defending. I can wrestle in every single position. So it feels, you know, good to show to people that I can do that even if I'm a heavyweight, you know, even when I'm a big guy. I know there's a lot of matches between the time you might get the opportunity to wrestle Craig, wrestle Craig Kirkfleet. How much have you looked into his wrestling? I mean, how much do you look forward to the potential of that type of matchup? So first of all, you just I gotta take care of the business, you know, with the, my first matchup, my second, third to get over there. But yeah, I watch him a lot. I watch every single guy that I that I would wrestle. I will, I will, I, I watch it. So I'm just gonna be ready, and I, hopefully he he stays ready too see me if he makes it through to the finals. Thanks, sir.